people often say, what do you do? And I think that um, answering that question outright eight out of 10 times is um, antithetical to your purpose. Ask me uh, what I do and I'll say guess and you'll say, okay, I'll guess. Or you'll say, oh, I don't want to guess. And I'll say, come on, don't you think it would be more fun if we guessed? Because this is all about uh, having fun and being playful and sort of leaving our mind and our mental patterns and just kind of being present. That's when uh, like attraction is built because we both feel good like children. I'm just going to cut in front here, okay? No, I'm kidding. That's terrible, oh, right? I don't even have any food. I was just going to cut through. <laughs> right? Okay. And not only am I going to cut in front, I'm going to... This looks good to me. I would like this. <laughs> right? You pay for it. I just want, like, three pieces. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> no, that's not okay. Oh, well, why not? Uh, I guess about five years ago, I had broken up with a girl. And there's moments I would have, maybe if I was hopped up on coffee or something, where I would... Uh, have the courage to approach a girl and maybe if the girl just some reason found me attractive she would take over and finish it <laughs> and then maybe I could like ask her out or something but a lot of the times I would see a girl I was attracted to and I, I didn't know what to do I looked on the internet for this sort of how to meet women kind of thing and to my surprise a bunch of like blogs came up by uh, various people actually working on this like a science. So I started taking what these people were saying and I just took it out to the street and I began to see every interaction as like a scene in a play. One of the, the biggest things I did that was sort of a, both ego bruising at first, but it had to be, and then ultimately liberating was, is I made a pact with myself that I will talk to five women every day for the next three weeks and all five women, no matter what, I'm going to ask for their phone number. I'm going to ask them out. So this was sort of burning up uh, my ego in the face of rejection. No one's ever said something like, get away from me to me or any of this kind of thing. I don't think ever, really. You know, they may have looked at me like they wanted me to. Or, you know, well, yeah, maybe a couple girls did. All right. So, <laughs> right, I forgot about that. Well, um, that hurts my feelings. I would say, hey, let's hang out sometime. But now the only way that you'll like, like me is if I ignore you all the time. Right? I'll say, hey, what's up? And then I'll disappear for like two weeks. And I'll call you, hey, and you'll be like, what? That's not fun, right? No, no. Well, you're welcome to give me a shout sometime. Okay. I would like it. Do you like wine? Do you drink They call people pickup artists, and I think that's a derogatory term. There's nothing more important and more empowering than becoming good at being a, a socializer, not a schmoozer, which is another derogatory term but someone who is being authentic in a moment-to-moment -moment way and, and being very specific and being very playful, which is, you know, Buddha-like, right? It's very spiritual.